Oh. Oh. This collection's turning out pretty, pretty, um. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, 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 hey, hey, guys. <laughs> what is up, Neo Fights? My name's Alan, aka Neo Crypto. Welcome back to some more work. Survival Evolved. This time today, we are on the fan server. By the way, that is hosted by G Portal. If you guys are looking for an amazing server host, oops, sorry, Horsey, did not mean to do that. To unclaim you again, dang it, Bobby. But yeah, if you guys are looking for an amazing server host, definitely check them out. There's a link down below that will save five percent on you. Also, um, yes. <laughs> anyway, so what we're doing today on here is. Uh, uh, what we're doing on the fan server today is going to be doing some building. Um, yeah, so I've got a little area in here set up with some stuff for the building, and I've got some things here. My my dear loving wife, my my wife here, yeah, yes, her. Oh oh, I'm sorry, dear. Don't watch this video. I love you. I I, I, I punch you. I really did. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, she has tasked me with building us our you know. Uh, starting a proper proper baby so that's what we're doing today um i'm going to you're going to be building down here in scotland as i uh, lovingly call it and a lot of people call it uh we're going the waterfalls down here yeah it's going to be a perfect area the other person there that was k my dear friend knight's better half other half something half <laughs> the uh, i had a sign up if you got you guys remember i did the uh tlc patch video here um to find stuff i had put a sign up saying you know that i'm gonna be building here but i don't know something broke it or something because sign is completely gone she had a little shack built up her, so i had to had to evict her talk to her on discord and she said yeah that was fine and that horse that heavenly horse that i unclaimed up there that that's for her for the trouble um but yeah we're going to be building down here my wife has picked this spot which you know Nice looking spot. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that is the plan today. That I'm probably going. To, I'm trying. I'm going to try something different. Something I've never done. Now I do like kind of medieval, mid, middle ages, styled builds all the time. That, but one thing I have never really done is tried to do a modern build. So that is the plan. I, I've got added a couple extra mods to the server. Just, uh, just so I could do something a little bit different. We added, uh, I pimp my home building parts, uh, saxing rads tools, and uh, then, you know, just uh, the good old pimp my home for some decorations. Oh, and then, like, uh, we have eco trees, we have, or eco trees light, we have eco garden decor, eco, let's see, what is it? Like the battle, uh, stable structures. So yeah, and then we're, of course, uh, you guys haven't seen this rendition of the server. We're running the heavenly, or heavenly, <laughs> we're running the Gaia, Gaia mod on it. So cool dinos floating about. Uh, I really got to stop doing that. Kay, this is your horse. Horse, say hi to Kay in case he watches the video. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll remember to unclaim it. I promise. I still need to get rid of our little friends from the... Uh, from a DLC patch that I did. So we still got our wolves here and then the kangaroo, which I have totally decided to keep. Nobody seems to check this setting over here. I'm still gonna keep it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the dire pups. If I didn't tame them properly. But that kangaroo we are keeping, I don't care what you say, it is mine. It's the kangaroo and it's mine. Anyway, it is, it is dark. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna go down here. I have some fats foundations up and i'm gonna place those down so i can place some of these uh workstations down on them oh 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 oh! another very important thing to show you guys very cool thing i have set up uh basically timmy carbine came up with this mod where you earn points by playing on the server and you can redeem those points for things by the way timmy very freaking cool mod, gotta say um uh, and it's called the reward uh, let me carbines reward something. I'll, I'll have a link. Anyway, like uh, every week you get a lump sum payout. I don't remember what I have at the moment. I think like 80 or 100 or something like that. But and then every 30 minutes you play, you get like uh, an extra. I think I have a eight points. 
So if you go in here to like the reward menu, take one of these reward vaults. By the way, they're super cheap. I made them super cheap on purpose. You can craft them pretty much for nothing. They have a crap ton of storage. But you can go in here uh, by holding the E menu and you can select like different things that you can purchase, different packs, uh, including, you know, I, I've been slowly going through and customizing them. You know, you have some like uh, regular gear and stuff. Destroy my target. No, don't do that. Uh, that's I had to get rid of her shack. I must still have that active um, in my art commander. But anyway, so like, yeah, you have different things in here that you can come in and purchase, which is pretty freaking sweet. And you know, they just cost certain amounts of arc, which is the currency ARC. Clever, clever, right? Right. Yeah, and there's even you know I even ha I started adding some of the stuff from the Gaia mod in and. There's a bunch of saddles. Some of the stuff is like default that uh, Timmy had set up. But as you can see here, we got like resources that you can buy and aberration resources, all kinds of all kinds of stuff, which is pretty freaking sweet. If you ask me, I really dig this mod. I think it's pretty fun. So, yeah, if you guys want to play on the server, by the way, it is completely free for anyone to hop on and play on the fan server. Um, the patrons will be get the patrons that play on the server will be getting some special perks, but in general, nothing game breaking. And yeah, it should be a good time if you guys want to come play. There, join my Discord. There's a link down below, and the info is in the Discord in the welcome section on how you get access to the server. Again, completely free. Come hang out, guys. It'd be a blast. Anyway, I'm gonna work through the night, get some of this stuff set up, and start moving some of the resources down that I purchased from the reward system myself. When I was testing it out and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get put together. All right guys, so I've kind of laying out some foundation uh, for the area we're going to work with. Uh, yeah, so this is, oh, by the way, if you're wondering how I am doing this, no, I am not in admin mode. No, I am not flying. You see this glorious force field? This is a mod. This is a very cool mod. This is a mod called Builder's Bubble. It's made by Monkey Man. Uh, you see all these parts in here? Let's let's grab something out of here. Let's say, let's just grab a pillar, right? The cool thing about this, so I can just use this one pillar and completely just, you know, go crazy and go crazy. But here's the trick. Now, if I come down here to this and I go to so cost. So that little structure I just built with just pillars would cost me six thatch, ninety wood, and one hundred and eighty stone. Uh, this part, what you do is these are like a template. If I was to say deactivate, uh, let's see, radius office pause, build so cost. Try that. That might be pause. Build might not be what I'm looking for, but if I was to uh, if I was to disable this. Nope. If I was to turn this off, this would collapse. Because this is a temporary structure. This is, helps you plot out. Uh, later on, when he's finished with the mod, it will allow you, you know, you know build a template of what you want to build, right? I am. And you can just, you know, pay the, after you get it built out, it will tell you how much the resources it costs for the entire structure, drop the resources in, and then it will make the structure permanent. Right now, it is just an awesome tool in my eyes because while you're on, I believe it uh, kind of, it gives you, while it's activated, it gives you infinite stats and it gives you flying. So it makes building a breeze. I mean, you move around and you don't have to have admin to use the server. Nothing can get through this force field. You can't go out of it. So while it's active, you're stuck in it. But you have really, as long as you have your resources up, uh, you really have no re I mean, I'm using it just for the flying and the stats so I can build un you know, uninhibited. Let us just, okay. Anyway, so yeah, what we're doing, what I'm doing is uh, I've got the castle key the forts foundations and I've kind of locked this out it um and then for the this is going to be kind of the walkway the outer perimeter the you know the, the patio if you will yeah this is hot here 
And then we're going to use these guys, which are from Pimp My Home, to build a interior of base. So that is my general idea. I ideally, oh, base. Wait. Whoa, 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 Why are these not lining up? What is going on here? Ah, I see. Double them up. Pressing. But yeah, the, um, that's the idea, because both of these I can change the textures on quite easily. Up. I have like multiple points on the pressing. There we go. Um, but yeah, I can use the, you know, I can change the texture on them really easy. Nice. Um, and I think mixing up the foundations like that will look good. Done. I'm out of those. Yeah, I really honestly I need a bigger area. So what we pro what we might do then is we might extend out this way, make it kind of a cliff overhang. That's not a bad idea. Hopefully the missus will appreciate the attention to detail and the well the build idea, because I've never tried anything. Anyway, I'm gonna get some more bits and bobs crafting up. Probably go get some more resources. Uh, let's see. Able, I gotta figure out how to disable this thing. Pretty sure there's gotta be an option without demolishing it. I mean, if I do have to demolish it, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, just because. Return all building materials before you leave. Okay. But, um, I kind of broke all them that way. I can't return it to you. Anyway, uh,. <laughs> But even if I do break it, it's not that big of a deal because it costs one thatch to make currently. Double check here. Go into build. Yeah, one thatch. So, yeah, big deal if I have to break it. It's uh, convenient, so I'm flying around and moving. But yeah, as you can see, I've got the little building area with all my various stations set up right here so I can just build away, just running around getting re pain. A lot of metal and a lot of stone, man. A lot of stone. Anyway, we'll be back. Oh, well, that was a bit of a setback. Uh, I thought I'd bring you guys back and tell you something. Bug. It's got to be a bug I discovered. I know there is setting I can do. Kind of fix it, though. Uh, but if you're using, uh, apparently, if you're using anything wooden or thatch or Probably regular stone, too, I would almost wager. Um, you notice uh, my little platform. Gone. Well, if you take down the builder's bubble so you can get out, um, since it's designed to destroy temporary structures, close it. Uh, it apparently is just looking for yellow stone thatch and wood at the moment and uh, completely destroying that. Take it down, too, if it's a, you know, S+. Plus. So yeah, that's a thing. It's a thing. That is a man. That's that's honestly kind of an annoying thing. Hey, monkey man, can you add a hook for that? I mean, I just gotta I, to fix it. Really, there's an eye and eye setting you can tell to keep structures, but sadly that makes all structures free. But I think that's what I'm gonna have to do right now. So hopefully nobody abuses that on my server. Paying attention. Just saying. Uh -huh. But yeah, so now I'm gonna have to make new crafting stations. Yay! Luckily, I have a uh, <clears throat> few of these guys. That I've actually kind of decided I'm probably not because um, it's not quite working out the way I want to with them. I might find something to do with them, but um, thinking what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to use the um, villager part of the castle's uh, key supports. Maybe do like a hardwood floor that might look good. Maybe try and figure out a way to mix them in, but a little bit of problem with placement on them would 
problematic. But anyway, uh, bring you guys back and point show you guys that um, the whole destruction thing. So yeah, I got to go make up new stations. So yeah, I'll back have some more progress. Crikey. Hey right, guys, things are starting to shape up and maybe work. Yeah, I kind of want to. Kind of laying out a frame here. So so far we're blending castles, keep course, castles, and forts. Why is that so hard for me? Um, S plus, and pimp my home building parts. So yeah, it's um, it's an interesting mix, but it, I think ultimately, probably gonna work out. I think. So yeah, I think I'll. That's fine. Yeah. I think this is looking kind of modern. Don't you? Maybe? Big open floor plan, kind of square. I mean, rectangular ish. And then I have a plan for that in a bit, though. I kind of wanted to get. Structure the blueprinted out. Oh, uh oh, we all good here. Uh oh, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have to readjust some of these, make them right snapping point. And working with so many different modities, a little bit on the frustrating. Okay. Good? Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Gotta get the other. But yeah, so this is coming out pretty good. I mean, we have our main door here, uh, which is from the up my home. Like the sound of that. Obviously, glass. We have our aquarium staircase from, again, up my home built parts. Pretty cool. Digging it. Totally digging it. Fix at the here. What is oh it's Randon on a shield? Sucks to be you, bro. Can't just fly around here. No fly zone. <laughs> about if I whoops. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Up to one up. Yeah, I think we're okay now. What do you think? I just got fixed it. Ugh. You know, one thing I realized that I don't have on, I don't think I have yeah, floating structures, whatever the setting is turned on. It, I and I, I don't know if I really need it, but I need to have it. So earlier I broke something and just kind of, it fell apart and I'm like, the crap just happened. Back area is going to be total glass. Total glass, yep. Because uh, I have this gorgeous lake out here where I plan on putting a swim. I mean, did I say swimming pool? I said swimming pool. That's right. Okay. So there's our progress update. You know, I was going to do this a solid wall, but I don't. It might be a little weird if that. Bear with me. With me. Out of these. Grab more. Hmm. Have a night. What if I took that and did that? Place this foundation right here. One of with um something that looks like dirt. And we can use like the eco mods to put like a shrub or something in there. I have to play with the idea. That sounds kinda neat. Anyway. Be back uh and 
after some more progress. Yeah. Oh man, guys, guys. Last time I or took the bubble, what happened with the metal in the last piece? Well, I've got to go. Oh, okay. That, was, that would have been a super expensive loss if that hadn't worked. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. We're all good. I, I was about to have a heart attack. But yeah, okay. We're fine. Good. Good. Being broke. We're all good here. All good. But yeah, this is going to work out. This is. But don't worry. I, I've got obviously. Got to go through here a few things I need to go up and see. I have enough to buy some ingots I'll stuff off my tree and take all the crap out of you tossing here for a ways from rads right now hopefully I have enough points farming Here to cave real quick. Give enough. Bloody dark. By the way, if you're wondering about the kilt in the shirt, it's from the costumes mod. I'm actually wearing full fur. That's the reason I am not freezing to death. <laughs> Got left in here. Oh crap, ton of chitin. But yeah, like I said, these are crap. Like that kind of on purpose. Be nice. Okay. This one. I have 15 points. The uh, hat. Oh, baby. Here we go. Here's the line. Yeah, it's, uh, you get a bonus of three every 30 minutes. Bill of Arc pack costs 12. Perfect. Not enough. Not enough. It's involved. Oh, yeah, that's the one thing. Um, this is designed for a stack mod. So I keep running into this issue. We're not running a stack mod. It's Dad, we're running in. Oh God, can't move. Ooh, can I? What can I? Can I send anything over here? <laughs> okay, can I move? Yes, barely. Oh Lord, um, we're not running a stack bond. We're running the inventory bags mod or offhand bags. That's offhand bags, uh, which allows you. It's kind of like a stack mod with progression. It, it it doesn't make the stacks bigger, but it does make it where you can um it does make it where things weigh a lot less and it's kind of a progression it's a less cheaty stack mod in my so i kind of wanted to play with that because i know some of the some mods and i okay I'm... or i'm gonna have to re... here uh one thing you can do and i'll point this out while we're... if i go in i should able can't do it to that one what basics hmm maybe you change that uh you could at one point go through if say like i didn't want all this chitin i could remove that 2000 there and then i could add it somewhere in here anywhere uh so like you know i could add an extra thousand wood it's a four thousand one thousand wood which was really cool but that doesn't seem to let me do that now which kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. All right, so I guess sadly I am going to have to break down and add a stack mod to the game. I'll just have to remove the offhand bags, I guess. Which these things are so cool. Really like them. Reduces weight for by sixty six percent. This is the top tier one, which is really neat. Not it's not cheating. I like it. You have to progress to be able to use it. Anyway, I guess I need to take the server down and figure out a stack mod. 
not something I particularly want to do, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Cause I need that materials, and it'll be easier to add a stack mod than modify the uh, config for that. Believe me. Every, every time I modify the config for the uh, reward vault thing, oh, forever. Anyway, we'll be back with stack mod installed. Yay! All right, guys, time for another quick update. Not what I want to do. Anyway, so the build is progressing, taking a lot longer than I originally thought it would. Be. Yeah. So we're going with the. Yep. Oh. Oh. We're going with the um, avoid. I think it's extra. Uh. Dark matter. Actually, it's called dark matter for the upper level. If you're wondering what the metal box is going to be. We'll get to that later. I think it's a long. Pretty good. I'm going to need to get some paint mixed up so I can paint this metal. I have not really painted metal before because I've never really worked with that much. So I don't know how that's going to go. We're going to have to do a bit of playing around to try it out. See, it'll look okay. Hopefully. I think the build starting to together but yeah we got the stack mod installed so i could get those resources i needed yes yes whatever <laughs> but yeah you know we're getting the points i well use it right? anyway get some more work done we'll be back again oh man this build is ages i think i'm at a stopping point guys because i'm running out of time for this what we've got so far. Still need to get some paint. Do some, oh, you, you know how uh, home renovation goes. Seriously. But <laughs> now I think it's coming along pretty good. I need to put some stairs in here, uh, obviously. But got a little kitchenette set up here, which apparently, this is from Mr. Rad's tool. Apparently, that actually works with cooking pot. And you have you know, water basin in here and storage for the kitchenette, of course. It works as a. Items in this. I wonder if that works as a uh, as a fridge. So we got a little table, you know, some stuff here, air locker, a couple fountain, hanging plants. Uh, I really dig the aquarium staircase. And my uh, uh, I need to set the plants. This I forgot to do. By the outside is set so privacy glass because I'm curious. No, oh, going to be the bedroom, the boudoir. Cool. Uh, and then, of course, this, if you guys are curious, what I plan on doing out here is I this I plan on being like storage for flyers or you know, a couple of personal flyers for the wife and I. I think that'll work out pretty good. And of course, we have a nice balcony to enjoy the view from. Um, down here, what I'm planning on I still got to work on that. Is uh, I'm go down here, uh, Geronimo. Carpet's next off, by the way. Um, but I plan on turning this into kind of like a little relaxing area, uh, putting a couple fountains, potted plants, things like that. Uh, out the back over here, I don't think I, yeah, I still need to put it in here. I kind of forgot about that. But out the back of, out here, I was thinking of building out in. On, um, grounding some of it and turning it into like uh, you know like a swimming pool kind of area, a natural something you know something along that line. Too. I think it would be kind of cool, kind of fun. Anyway, guys, so this is uh, obviously I still need to do texture work too, but man, it's been a long day and I still got more work to do. Really, car I was selling about earlier, so uh, but I'm gonna have to take a break here all this a video let me know what you guys think about it so far i've never tried to build in like a modern style house um I, i'm kind of I'm, I'm okay with it i keep potential there's a few things i still feel like i need to work on but overall i think it's too bad um but yeah i, I want your guys's of course obviously twice opinion 
have the final say in this one, but your guys' ideas are way more well you know, more welcome. Don't tell her I said that. I did not say that. I didn't say that your ideas are more welcome than hers. Nope, that was not what I said. Nope, no, I'm leaving now. Bye, bye. Gotta go before she wakes up. Got, got, gotta get. Um, no, <laughs> no but uh, your guys, I value you guys' opinions, obviously. If you guys have any tips, tips or ideas or uh, you see something I may have screwed up on, let me know in the comments down below. That would be great. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It might be short. I'm not even. I haven't really been paying attention to how long the clip. So it may be a short, uh, shorter video. If it is, I apologize for that. But man, this is this week is like kind of hell week. So uh, yeah, <laughs> might be a little hectic. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Until next time, guys. This is Eo. I'll see you at game. Bye.